Hi everyone, I'm Jimaku Brimstone and welcome to the review of Music for the Jilted Generation, the second studio record by the band The Prodigy. Today we're celebrating the 30th anniversary of the record so decided to go back and see if it still holds up or not. If you haven't seen my previous Prodigy videos, go check them out because I've reviewed their first record and also their third one and the newest one from 2018, No Tourists. So my story with this band is quite simple. Back when I was like, I don't know, two or three years old, my siblings would listen to this band all the time. The Fat of the Land was the newest album, they would just blast it all the time. And later, when I was like four years old, I would uh, take my siblings' CDs and just listen to them every day, because why not? And at the time, my favorite album was Experience by The Prodigy. I would listen to it every day, especially the songs Weather Experience, Fire, Sunrise Edition and Rough in the Jungle. Those three were like my all-time favorites. I would just rough in the jungle, in the jungle, in the jungle, in the jungle, all the time. <laughs> fire, <laughs> that fire sounds so funny. I would also blast this one all the time. This record is slightly different from the previous one. Let's start with the lineup. Liam Howlett doing all of the music, you know, synthesizer, keyboard, sampling, drum machine, production, all of that stuff. He does all of the music. Maxim did vocals on Poison, which is quite interesting because he also did uh, vocals on the last song on the previous record, Experience. Death of the Prodigy Dancer. The rest of the lineup of the band, you know, Keith Flint, Rest in Peace and the other dude, did not participate in the recording process or writing process, but they did dance all of the time and they show up in all of the music videos. The cover art, very nice. Uh, this is my mother without makeup. <laughs> I mean, anyways, here you can find out about the recording process. The artwork, blah blah blah, reception. The production is titled was handled by Liam and Neil McLennan. And I must say that I love it. Every song sounds just so powerful, you know, the beats, the melodies, all of the instruments. Even after 30 years, everything sounds so fresh. Like the production is top notch. Message is diverse. The songs, like half of them, don't have any vocals you know no no lyrics just someone shouting the title of the song you know voodoo people yeah i guess message is good time and just dance you know most of the songs are between basic and advanced structure but i've put down advanced almost everywhere because this band has a quite interesting way of writing songs at least here on this record so you have that standard intro verse pre-chorus chorus verse pre-chorus chorus bridge chorus outro here on almost every song when it comes to the structure but it's slightly different because liam just adds more layers of sound on top so like you start one song for example break and enter and you almost have the same exact beat throughout the entire eight minutes but it just adds more and more sounds on top of that and just sounds so fresh so interesting there's always something new happening you know even after five minutes there might be some new sound in the background and that's very interesting also sometimes he adds those little samples or melodies for like three or five seconds and they just happen like once or twice throughout the entire song and those moments are very memorable you're going to remember them so that's the structure when it comes to the music i'm not an expert when it comes to this genre i'm more into technical death metal new metal stuff <laughs> that kind of music but here you know it's electronic we've got some break beats some techno some hardcore i guess rave jungle all of that stuff so now let's rate individual tracks let's start with the intro i don't think it has any music just some typewriter sound and i don't know that weird buzzing in the background <laughs> I'm not sure what kind of thing makes noise like that, but I do enjoy it. And we've got some speech in the background as well. It's actually quite iconic intro. I don't know, maybe because I've been listening to this record for the past 23 years. It's so nostalgic to me. I do enjoy it. 8 out of 10. Break and enter the first real song here. This one, it's vicious. I love the glass breaking effect. 
the beat is just so primal, so heavy, the eerie melodies that happen later on the song, fabulous. This is a banger, like I love every single second of this song, it has that sinister atmosphere about it, you know, it's fun to listen to, it's a classic, like you cannot mistake this song for any other artist, you're going to hear it, and that's the prodigy, you know it. 11 out of 10, Their Law featuring Pop Will Eat Itself, this song is more, I guess, slightly nu metal influenced, industrial metal, that kind of stuff, because it has a guitar part, I don't know if it's a sample or someone played the guitar here, but I do enjoy the main riff, I love the vocals here, fuck them and their law, to do doom, to doom. I guess this song is about the United Kingdom and how they've basically banned rave, so, you know, the government, so they wouldn't allow people to have rave parties and the band did not enjoy it. I love this song from beginning to the end because it has that vicious energy about it. My favorite part is the chorus, you know, that keyboard sound, legendary. 11 out of 10, full throttle. This song is a masterpiece. It was already released a year earlier on the One Love single. That original version is like 20 seconds longer. And on some of the copies of Music for the Jilted Generation, the sample from Star Wars on this song is played backwards. So those are the only changes from the original mix. This song, I love the primal jungle vibe it has. It actually sounds quite like the first album, Experience. It has that energy, that very interesting atmosphere. When I hear this song, I think about some distant planets with lots of jungles, you know, that's what I see. It's a fun track for sure. Every single second counts, especially that cool break, you know, that wah, 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 that keyboard melody. Tum, 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 tum. I love it, that's the best part. And that wow 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 <laughs> that sound. Also, you're probably wondering why in my reviews I don't use clips of songs because I don't want to be copyright straight, so I make noises with my mouth on <laughs> music, so I won't get copyright striked. Sorry for that. That's how it is on YouTube. Yeah. 11 out of 10. Voodoo people. This one is a classic. It has a very cool music video. I remember watching it all the time back when I was like 4 or 5 years old. Also, I think this is the song that played in that movie with Jean Reno, Wasabi. You know, like he's a policeman or something like that and he must go to Japan because he has daughter there. It's a funny comedy movie, go check it out, it's French movie but it's a masterpiece. And this song is also fantastic, it's iconic, everyone knows this is the prodigy, the vocals, the music, all of it. That main guitar riff, do -do -dum, do -do -dum, do -do -dum, do -do -dum. it's very simple to play on the guitar, that's just 4-6-0 repeated you can try it out it's fantastic what else can i say 11 out of 10 speedway theme from fast lane this one i love how it starts with those samples of fast cars you know wow 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 amazing keyboard and synths you know those cool melodies this track is ferocious it doesn't let go it's fast it's fun to listen to it doesn't have any flaws 11 out of 10 the heat the energy I'm going to surprise you, to me personally, this is one of the weaker tracks on the album. It's still perfect, I wouldn't change a thing about it, but I don't know, I feel like the intro is a little bit too long, like, I don't know, two or three minutes, it's just like, wow, wow. But after the intro, we've got some cool melodies, cool synths, keyboards, the beat is also flawless. Just the intro, a little bit too long, but I still dig this song a lot, it's a classic to me. 10 out of 10, Poison, another banger with the music video. Tum, 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 tum. Yeah, tum, tum. Tum, 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 tum. Tum, 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 tum. Yeah, tum, tum. I love that yeah sound. Tum, 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 tum. The beat, the beat is just so legendary to me. I love every single second of this song. The beat, the keyboard, the vocals. I've got the poison, I've got the remedy, I've got the poison. <laughs> 
I don't remember the lyrics, but it goes hard. Like I've just listened to this song like 30 minutes ago, and I was like, yeah, boom, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've got so many good memories with this one and the music video, which was dark, I don't know, they were in some sewers or some shit and it was just so dirty, you know, but it's fun. 11 out of 10, no good, start the dance, another single with the music video, another fantastic song, so many good memories with this one, you just want to dance when you hear this song, obviously, love the keyboards, the beats, the vocals, yeah, 11 out of 10, one love. This is the edited version of the song because uh, at the time CDs had only 80 minutes of space so if your music album was longer than that it wouldn't fit one CD so the Prodigy basically had to shorten one song for the entire thing to just fit on one CD and suddenly One Love is shorter by one or two minutes I think and also one other song didn't make the cut for the record, I think it was Rhythm of Life, I might be wrong about that, but I think it was Rhythm because it has that same production. Anyways, One Love, it's a classic, it was the first single from this album, it came out a year before it and Liam released it under a different name because everyone was like, the Prodigy is too mainstream, they've lost it, they can make good music anymore. So he released this song under a different name to see if people would love it and the reviewers would be like, this is fantastic. And of course everyone was like, yeah, this is the future of music. And then he was like, yeah, but this is me, this is the prodigy. And everyone was like, yeah, no, it's not good. So <laughs> that's the story behind One Love. I love that One Love and that keyboard that cool dark part in the middle love every single second of this song but I must say that I prefer the original mix from the single you know the longer version way more but this one is also fantastic so 10 out of 10 and now we've got the narcotic trilogy which starts with 3 kilos this is my favorite song on the record because of how chill out it sounds like the cool vibe of it the keyboard and that cool sound i don't know if it's a whistle or something you know everything just everything about this song is legendary go listen to it right now it's the highlight of this record for sure i will always love this one you know you can just sit down lay back listen to it and it's always a fun time. 11 out of 10, Skyline. This one has a more darker vibe to it, but I love it. I love the cool raw sound, the speed of this one, the intensity. I remember that when I was young, like four or five, we had several CDs of this record and they gave me the one that ended with this song. So. There was no claustrophobic sting on the album and I was like, I don't know, I just remember that, that fact, that story, you know, that Skyline ended the record and I was like, why, why? But I still dig this song a lot, it's fantastic from beginning to the end, I, I guess it's my third least favorite, but it has such a cool atmosphere, it's heavy, it's interesting, 10 out of 10, and the final song claustrophobic thing this one is the heaviest song on the record for sure it's heavy it's vicious i love the laughter in it the ha 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 that is very cool but i must say that this is my least favorite song i even prefer the intro over this one i don't know why the record was just so diverse if you know the songs were so melodic but also heavy at the same time and this one is almost not melodic at all it's just so powerful and heavy and angry and dark and i don't know to me it sounds like it doesn't fit the album it's hard for me to describe probably most people don't agree with me that's fine i still think it's a great song 8 out of 10 to sum it all up the consistency is stable the flow is fitting repeatability yeah it's a legendary record it's my third favorite prodigy album after experience and the fat of the land there isn't anything to hate about this record from the production to the cool beats melodies vocals the atmosphere everything just works here this was one of the best 
bands in the 90s i feel like like no matter what kind of music you love the most if it was grunge electronic metal rock i don't know reggae whatever everyone just loved the prodigy because they were just making bangers after bangers and every song was like wow it was a masterpiece so yeah that's my opinion but now let's move on to the b-sides so from 1993 till 1995 the prodigy has released 14 b-sides i don't count jericho genocide 2 remix and voodoo people pendulum remix because jericho came out in 92 the original version of the remix and pendulum remix came out in like 2005 i think or something like that but every other song that you can see here is from that 93 to 95 time frame and also the songs that are like colored red these tracks are featured on the more music for the digital generation cd which was added to some versions of music for the digital generation i don't know why more music for the digital generation only had like five b-sides because it has like nine songs i think and four of them are like live versions of tracks from the album why would you put those kind of songs on cd2 instead of real b-sides like rhythm of life or we at rhythm or i don't know one love original mix or some cool remixes i don't understand that logic you know to just omit the cool b-sides from those recording sessions i don't know if someone knows why that happened please explain in the comment section because i couldn't find any information about it but it's so weird you know it's weird to not have rhythm of life and weird rhythm on a cd2 you know like they should have made like a two cd version of music for the digital generation which had all of the songs from the album and all of the b-sides and that would have been fantastic but sadly it does not exist, at least at the time of me recording this review. Maybe someday they are going to do it. I wish they would. So, let's talk about One Love original mix. As I stated before, this one is phenomenal. It has that very cool, brutal intro, you know, the beat boom boom boom, and also a very cool outro. The intro and the outro is sadly omitted on the album version. But on the single version, the original mix slaps. I prefer it over the album version, of course. 11 out of 10. Rhythm of Life. This is a B-side that wasn't featured on the album, but I guess it would have been if a CD could hold more than 80 minutes of music. And I love this one. It sounds like a very tribal track. It has that vibe to it. There's a woman here saying, Rhythm of Life. And some cool ooh 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 noises in the more ooh 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 ooh. <laughs> That's just so funny. I love this song from beginning to the end. I wish it was on the album. Like I prefer it over the hit song and the final narcotic track easily. Eleven out of ten. We it rhythm. I don't know if this song is from ninety four or ninety five. I am not sure. But there are two versions of it. The original one you can find on YouTube, it's 5 minutes long and it's just good. I feel like it's on the same level as Claustrophobic Sting, you know, it's a good song. Nothing special, the Prodigy has better songs, so 8 out of 10, but there's also a Jungle Mix and I must say that this one is wow, it's a masterpiece. It retains the samples and vocals from the original one but it has a different instrumental work and I just prefer the jungle mix, you know. I love the atmosphere here, go check it out, it's 4 minutes long, 11 out of 10, Goa or Gea, the heat, the energy part 2, I don't know why this exists because it's like a longer version of the part 1 but without the interesting stuff happening, like 6 minutes of meh. So I don't know why this version exists, I don't care for it. 5 out of 10, Cyanide, this is a song from 1995, and this is a certified banger, you know, the instrumental work. It has more of a city vibe than a countryside jungle music, but I dig it. It sounds industrial, I love the melodies, the two wow 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 everything about it. 
is just perfect. 11 out of 10. Rat Poison. This is a remix of Poison, official by the band themselves. And this one sounds like a new metal song, like the bass line, doo -doo 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 -doo. the guitar riffs, so eerie, they remind me of old school Korn. The vocals are the same as in the original song. This is probably one of my all time favorite The Prodigy tracks, because it's basically new metal mixed with electronic music. I love the eerie atmosphere. This could play in some video game, you know, some shooter, and it would fit perfectly in. 12 out of 10. Jericho Genocide 2 Remix. I want to talk about this song because I forgot to talk about it in the experience review. So this is a remix of Jericho from 1992 and I love it. I love the new melodies, the wow 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 all of that stuff. And also the original melodies are also included here. Perfect remix, one of the better ones for sure. 11 out of 10. One Love Johnny L remix. This one, while it's not on the same level as the original song, it retains the atmosphere and the vibe. I love the new melodies that you added here. Yeah, it complements the song. 9 out of 10. Speedway Secret Knowledge remix. This one, well, it's just good. I like the changes that you made here. Love the new melodies. But besides that, this is nothing special, it's just a good remix. 7 out of 10, Pison Environmental Science dub mix. This is the worst remix here, for sure. I don't know why it exists, it sounds bland and boring to me. 4 out of 10, No Good, CJ Boland Museum remix. This one, it's just not my cup of tea. It's not bad, it's not great. I just don't enjoy these types of uh, remixes, like meh. 5 out of 10. No good, bad for you mix. This one, well, it's like the original song, but worse. <laughs> I hope you understand. So it's fine. The changes are okay. It's nothing special. You can listen to it. I have nothing against it. It's fine. 6 out of 10. Voodoo People, Dust Brothers remix. And this one, while it's a good remix, you know, because it has a totally different vibe from the original song. It just doesn't grab me, you know, this type of electronic music is not for me. 5 out of 10. Voodoo People Haiti Island Remix. This one, well, it's like the original song but worse, so it's similar to that No Good Bad For You mix. It's certainly interesting, so go check it out, but to me it's nothing special. 6 out of 10. And the final remix, the Voodoo People Pendulum one. This is a banger. I remember when this came out, like, it was all over the... TV, you know, Viva, MTV, I remember listening to it every single day. The music video was so cool because it features the Prodigy and Pendulum and it's just so cool. This is a fantastic remix, like, I love it. It retains the original vibe while being 3 or 4 minutes shorter, but also bumps up the intensity with the drumming. The drumming is perfect here, boom, boom, the, the beats, just everything about it. So yeah, 11 out of 10, I don't know if I should even rate this here, because this is not an official compilation, this is just me rating every B-side from that era, so I am just going leave it without the score, but you should check out those B-sides, especially Rhythm of Life, We at Rhythm, both versions, Cyanide, Rat Poison, One Love, Original Mix, Pendulum Remix of Voodoo People, and also Jericho Genocide 2 Remix if you haven't heard it because it's a banger. I know that this song is from 1992 and it doesn't have anything to do with music for the digital generation but I just wanted to include it because I forgot about it on the experience uh, review. <laughs> Celebrate Mercy by spinning this record today. It deserves your love and attention. That's all from me. Thank you. And I will see you in my other videos. Bye.